I keep writing. And so I wanted to get down and drop some, drop some uh, what I wrote, but it's just spoken word really, so it's a bit different before the music starts up and that. yesterday on Father's Day. I love you little monkey, how lucky I am to be with you, to see you smile first thing in the morning, tickle your tummy while you're yawning, give your knee a magic rub when you've been falling, hear your animal impressions, hear your snoring, carry you up top, play pirates and crocodiles, with you life's never boring, thank you for calling me dad. Day. Put some new gum under my tongue, chewed a bit, thought about some words and grooved a bit, thought about how some in the UK living lives like fugitives, thinking how there's too much subterfuge to this, but war and terror seem so huge to this, I can't help but be moved by this, when we scree see screened evidence of genocide by dictators that proved they did, when the world took a closer look and unscrewed the lid, but amazingly the world didn't lift a finger, just kept their cameras glued on it. Shock value prime time ratings accrued by this. TV reporters, knighted, picked up in the Daily Mail. Their views too skewed on this. I've been standing still too long, need to wake up, stick and move a bit. Give a fuck, use my voice, try and bruise this shit. Matt, I've taken very potent substances. Sometimes my Vespa scooter gets mechanical glitches, hitches that make me late for social fixtures. I find those hot dogs disturbing. They try to sell me at the pictures. I don't rate rhymes about violence, trust funds, silence guns or bitches. Can't listen to all that back chat. That flat chat has me in stitches. Pissing away life's blessings, blissfully blind to life's riches. Like they got a dose of some kind of thick sickness, or sick thickness. Fuck that, you know I'd rather listen to Christmas Hits by Cliff Richard. <laughs> or Carrie Don't Live Here Anymore. Life's fleeting flame flickered out for her that night. She picked herself up off the floor and threw herself out of the door. You see, Carrie done too much meth and white lightning. For this young girl, life got too frightening. She had a baby too, a sweet young bright thing. She worked so hard, tried to do the right thing. But see, she was trapped between too many sense heightening substances. Her demons she was fighting couldn't even talk, read or write things. Lecky cut off, she couldn't heat or light things. One day she lost her fight in a town called Brighton. But the only thing that rocked the 9 o'clock news was the shock that the stock market rocketed that day. Poor people picketed, fat cats pocketed their pay. Who says humanity's lost its way? Thanks a lot for listening. Oh,